Dana, let's get to some of the other fights. Uh, Conor McGregor officially returning to fight Donald Cerrone. Why has the weight been officially set at a uh, buck seventy for this one, Dana? You know what? Th these guys both wanted to fight. At, uh, you know, Conor wanted to fight at one seventy, and and uh, Cowboy was like, "No problem, I love it." You know, I think they, you know, both of them don't want to cut to fifty five. And uh, I think Connor also has plans. If he beats Cowboy Cerrone, he wants to turn around quick and fight again. So obviously, if he fights at 170, he wouldn't have to make that weight cut twice. And then Masvidal's had an incredible year. Um, and, uh, you know, do you think his last fight, the fight or, or, uh, against Nate Diaz, was stopped a little bit too soon? What do you think? So that night... You know, I, I was like, they didn't stop the Tyson Fury fight, right? But and that cut was nasty. But then once I got in the back, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I saw mm -hmm. Diaz, his eyebrow was literally flipped over. Yeah, that's right. And he had another cut under the eye, and I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. This this should have been stopped. So not, not a bad stoppage. Is Masvidal the guy that Connor would want to turn around and fight right away, Dana? Do you think? Well, Masvidal's at 170. I think that what Connor really wants is that rematch with Habib. Um, Nemergamedov, your buddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. He wants that rematch. And um, do you think that will happen? Well, a couple things got to happen first. He's got to beat Cowboy Cerrone, yep. which, which is a very yep. tough fight, um, especially at 170 without Cowboy having to cut weight. Then uh, Habib has to beat Tony Ferguson. If both of those things happen, then, then, yeah, I think we can make the rematch. Why did the April 18th fight between Khabib and uh, Ferguson take so long, do you think, to get, uh, to get done? Well, this is, this is the fifth time that yes. these two were supposed to fight. <laughs> well, hopefully it's the charm. Somebody gets injured every single time these two are supposed to fight. So, um, you know, not fun. So that's <laughs> – who is the one who tells you about this information? Who is the one who comes to you, Dana White, and goes, "Hey, guess what? Uh, this happened again." Is there somebody in the uh, on the chain here? That's the that's yeah, the yeah. You know, it's usually it's it's either me or our matchmakers. We usually hear it first, and then uh, you know we immediately go into uh, you know fix it mode and trying to find out who's available, who can make weight, who wants to take the fight. You know, it just happened. We just had uh, Brian Ortega has a partial tear in his um, ACL. Right. And he's supposed to be right. fighting December 21st against the Korean Zombie in Korea. Big fight, great fight, you know, exciting fight that fans wanted to see. Now, now, how do you fix this fight in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's in a couple of weeks in Korea. Mm -hmm. So Frankie Edgar uh, hit me up and said that he wanted to take the fight, and Frankie Edgar is scheduled to fight uh, uh, here pretty soon. So uh, he was supposed to fight January 25th. So instead, he's going to take the December 21st fight against uh, the Korean Zombie. So that, that, that's usually how it works. Okay. And um, I, I, obviously so many people would want to see Khabib and, and Connor fight. Um, d does Connor really want a, a piece of that again? I mean, have you had that conversation <laughs> with him? Oh, yeah. No, he wants to listen. He'd rather take that fight right now and not fight Cowboy. He, he, he wants that fight really bad. Um, and uh, reality, Rich, it'll, it'll be the, the biggest pay-per-view I mean, ever in the history of the sport. Oh, my God. Um, and and um, no, no doubt about that. And, and I imagine uh, security around the ring would be um, something that would uh, be on your radar screen going into something like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Right? It was the first time, too. It was the first time, too. If you see, that guy just barely misses grabbing Khabib's legs before he jumps <sighs> up. So we'll get some quicker guys in there this That's time. Right, yeah, more quick twitch <laughs> muscles for something like that. Obviously, yeah. as you pointed out, something lots has to happen before that. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.